All right, guys, today I'm gonna to show you my truck. I've seen a few of these guys post just what's inside their truck, just a typical work day. And uh, this is no frills, no special or anything. Of course, y'all know I don't have a super nice truck. It's just an old work truck. And so I'm gonna show you what's in my truck right now. All right, typical day for me in my truck. Let's see what we have. I got my door locked on this side which I never do. I was mowing today in a section of the uh, town and I had to put the locks on just because I picked up a new yard. This truck's a 96. I mean, it has 96 Dodge interior. I mean, it's dusty, super dusty. I keep gloves up there on my vents because uh, when it's cold out, you put your gloves up there on the defroster and it'll warm them up. Just random sockets change. Uh, I got a Bluetooth speaker because the radio quit working a long time ago. It kind of sounds ghetto in a way, but it's just, like I said, it's just a work truck. It works just fine. Uh, let's see. Down here, I have some transmission fluid. I had topped off the transmission fluid the other night. I have gloves, ratchet straps. Uh, if you guys do anything, uh, with rose bushes or anything outside picking up stuff I definitely recommend these they're about $35 but they're worth it I got this brush here so when I'm done trimming in the evenings I just take this and brush it off my legs or like when I uh, did concrete and it's been really nasty I can take that and clean my legs off with it uh, venom gloves I use these for everything I love them a bottle of water just in case I gotta run it in the pump to prime it. Business cards, sunblock, earplugs. I mainly use these for mowing, but I can't stand loud noises and it's got to where like when I if I'm gonna be by the pressure washer when I'm pressure washing, uh I always have those in now. But I got ratchet straps and then I have my jumper cables underneath because you just never know. I got knee pads in there. Those are the most uncomfortable things ever. And unless you need them, uh, I got them for landscaping and stuff, but so far I've not needed them. They, they're they really crappy. But I have the, the wand. I've never used this, but this is the wand that came with my pressure washer. I mean, if I had to use it, I could. So there's nothing wrong with it. And then up here, I have my four foot wand. That's what I use when I'm doing wood uh, to rinse the wood off because it gets me a little bit closer to the ground. And then before I got my hammerhead, I put my 16 inch uh, surface cleaner on that. And uh, I didn't have to bend over as much. Of course, I got a backup 100 foot of hose. I don't have any fittings on it yet. I should go ahead and put them on there, but uh, I don't. Something you and uh, you guys may think this is weird. You may be able to relate, but I always keep old t-shirts, and they're normally my old work shirts that's faded. I've got bleached out or whatever, but I keep one down here. I do keep my gloves. Uh, those Venom gloves are expensive and just because you're done using them don't mean they don't work anymore. So I use those until they just about have a hole in them. Uh, but I always keep a t-shirt up here to wipe my sweat off when I'm working throughout the day. And I'll keep one down here like a handkerchief to blow my nose on. So I call it a snot rag down here and a sweat rag up here. It may be gross, but that's just real. Uh, just an old hat I got for Christmas a few years ago. I wear it out, um, wear it out when I'm working sometimes. I really prefer uh, my other one that I have back here. It's like a fishing hat. It keeps it off my neck. This was a, I don't know, $15, $20 find off Amazon. I've been using it now for two years. It works great. Uh, Here's some grass seed. I was putting some grass seed out. Hot and spicy Vianis. Water bottle, because I couldn't find my water jug this morning. 
I always bring stick cheese with me and this is one of those packs you put in the freezer. So I put my cheese and I have to keep it warm or keep it cool throughout the day. Um, this here is just, this is a groove book. And uh, I wanted to try to find something in here real quick just to show you. I don't have the nicest rig. But this is how I started out, 95 Honda Accord. This is me loaded the pressure washer up to go to my first pressure washing job. And I took that picture and I said, I'm going to have the pressure washing business one day and I'm going to be able to look back to see where I started from. So I, that's what I have. Uh, I keep this bucket in here because that's what I um, rinse with. Uh, let's see, I have gloves. I have the kids' gloves in case they help me do anything. We're working on the Jeep, so I got a bunch of Jeep parts down here I gotta get hoses for. I keep my gun in here until I need it. I'm gonna be spraying some ivy. If you ever have ivy that's growing up trees in the woods, get you some triclopyr and some uh, glyphosate and it'll zap it out. Uh, of course, this is just my old crack box. I have everything in there that I need as far as I know in the back here I was spraying today so I have my sifter and my measuring cup more shirts I keep I normally keep those folded up here but uh, I just had them in there and then I mix my mix for spraying yards with my drill basic I keep my bungee cords right here when I'm hauling something and I have a tarp I use that basic tools, wrenches, ratchets, uh, pliers, screwdrivers, my edger blades, measuring tape. Uh, if you guys don't, try to not say us so many times, that gets on my nerves. But if you don't have any of these masks, these are SA Company, and whether you get the SA Companies or you get a different brand, these things are awesome. I use them for spraying bleach to keep the bleach off my face if I'm if I, it's a windy day and I'm doing a two-story house I keep these folded up back here there's more shirts there's my mask on windy days if I'm mowing I put them on because the wind will blow the grass back in your face I don't like that uh, pollen you know it's it's a pretty good filter for when you're mowing uh, or anything trimming bushes of course that's the trimmer line that I use. Safety glasses. Uh, horrible, horrible tripod. The end of it pops off up here. You watch this. Like, I, I mean, it pops off so easy. Makes my life a nightmare. Of course, I have my respirator. Um, what is that? Windshield wiper. I got some earmuffs. I don't wear these. I keep these in the truck for when we go shoot backup lens for my uh, actually they were replacement lens for my old sunglasses that I lost I have a few chains in here that need to take, get taken down to get sharpened, some lube for the trimmer boxes to do soil test uh, some bar oil, this was my first uh, first tripod and honestly which you see that just popped out this one is way better this one's way better than that other one but it it wears it wears out pretty quick oh and i believe that's about it so i've seen a few guys post pictures of their truck just like real time this ain't nothing nice and pretty i have the guys i needed some tail light or the lens license plate lent the lights bulbs and he sold me those are wrong I keep a blade in here for when I'm doing mulch cutting plastic and stuff I have a uh, whatever you call that all-in-one tool have some just extra screws some little sheet metal screws and then in the door I keep my glyphosate just some odds and ends wrenches and sockets there's a carburetor or not a car but a spark plug tester down there uh, i think this is a what is it a 510 yeah set uh, sutner 510 gun i keep it for a backup i got a, a 
extension on there if I need it. My sprayer for the yards, I have an extension for it if I ever wanted to use it, which I doubt I ever will. And just some basic Allen wrenches, connectors for the battery, adapters. That's about it. So you see the outside, oh, and then I keep my connectors down here keep them under here in case I need them. Uh, the new ones that I got, the I don't even know, I think they're called Joe Blow or whatever they are, the ones that solder, those are really cool. But this is just a real time picture or video of my truck. I keep a charger here, my phone stays on that. I keep a trash bag here, hand sanitizer, ink pens, and that's it. So anyway that's my real time look for the truck we'll see you next time